The competencies required to succeed in a new world economy have been memorialized in the charter of a global process and practice model, the Capability Maturity Model Integration, CMMI. The CMMI, which offers a set of internationally accepted standards of professional process practices, provides certifications for organizations that invest in the integrated professional development of its people, which in turn qualifies the organization for the coveted CMMI certification designation. The CMMI certifications are based on the demonstrated integration of motivations exhibited by both an organization willing to invest in its human capital, i.e. its professional knowledge workers, to assist them in achievement of a well-rounded repertoire of managerial process practices that can be objectively assessed and quantified by an external accrediting agency. The continued growth in computer power throughout the world has facilitated the development of a discipline-specific process and quality improvement approaches. It has ushered in an era of international standards driven by quality process improvement programs. Software applications in each functional area of an organization continue to play an ever-increasingly important role in today's industries and society. Modern organizations operate in a highly dynamic environment where time and budget are major constraints. In today's globally integrated economic environment, language and culture become additional levels of complexity facing organizations seeking to gain the internationally acceptable imprimatur of verifiable quality and process standards. The emergence of the popular Total Quality Management, TQM, movement, which was pioneered in the United States by the works of Deming, Crosby, and Duran, motivated organizations to look closely at their processes. Information systems technologies capability made it possible for an organization to capture the data required to monitor the appropriate metrics needed to assure the creation of quality products and services. Quality in effect became a byproduct of the diffusion of information systems within an organization's operations. The total quality movement which perhaps was the first internationally recognized attempt to incorporate all inclusive descriptions of an organization's culture, attitude, and institutional process of an operation. Organizations that subscribe to the TQM methodology earned a reputation that provided its customers with an assurance that the products and services produced were dependable and of an independently certifiable quality. TQM recognizes that product quality is achieved at every level of a process and the output from quality process is a quality product or service. Thus, TQM incorporates the elements of product quality, process control, quality assurance, and quality improvement at every level and within every functional area of an organization's operations. The massive scale of acceptance and adoption of TQM by reputable organizations around the globe did not curtail the search for additional universally adoptable methods and standards of quality initiatives. Many companies in response to market demands and the dynamic forces at play in a competitive business environment have engaged in continuous improvement process initiatives as a method of gaining a stronger competitive advantage. The continuing search for a universal, functional oriented set of process standards independent of discipline or industry segment has led to the development 
of several internationally recognized TQM-oriented models like the CMI. However, the implementation of the CMMI type processes and the requisite supporting resources can be cost prohibitive for small organizations, especially those in Latin America, according to Octaba. The search for a more practical economic software development standards model saw the emergence of the International Standards Organization, ISO, the ISO 9000-2000 was developed as an alternative method to TQM in providing a set of international standards for the specific assessment of software production systems. The ISO 9000-2000 standards focused on the specifications and levels of quality where contracts between two or more parties required the demonstration of the vendor's capability by certification of its end product's output. It is the second of three international standards for quality systems that can be used for external assurance purposes and enjoys global wide acceptance. The ISO 9000-2000, although embraced by the international community, was also considered an expensive proposition for most small companies. It also was difficult for companies with limited resources and who lacked the organized training and procedural programs to gain the integrative, ongoing scaffolding training which systematically built upon the foundational skills in a continuous, organized fashion which helped the workforce achieve the skill base necessary to gain international certification for the organization. The CMMI was a systematic approach engineered to provide a standard specifically for process improvements and build upon in organizations previous human capital investments. The CMMI was created in large part to provide a metric management capability for organizations in general. Although it was originally developed for software producers because of their need for universal application and development standards, it was expanded to several other disciplines, systems engineering, acquisitions, etc. It was no longer uniquely a systems-oriented methodology, as noted by Coppola and Johnson. The CMMI was developed by measuring and analyzing activities of highly functioning organizations. That is, those organizations that consistently delivered products, services, or systems to their clients on time and within budget with a certainty of a standard reliability. More importantly, most projects built under the process controls of the CMMI method actually worked. These activities also, according to Coppola and Johnson, eventually became the 316 key practices in the CMMI. The practices were grouped into 18 key process areas, or KPAs. The focus on the best practices found among the organizations that were reviewed. The KPAs concentrated on such items as managing requirements, managing changes, creating project plans, tracking estimates against actuals, and analyzing the variance by implementing quality assurance activities, instituting peer reviews, and training personnel in related processes. These activities, coupled with the ubiquitous nature of information systems technology, a global transformation in process standards and control was highly transportable, systematic, and accepted by most international agencies, 
associations, and organizations concerned with process reliability. The basic advantage of the CMMI over the other major quality and process methyl models discussed above is that it provides a single integrated framework for improving processes throughout an organization, enhancing the quality and efficiency of the organization as a whole. It has rapidly become a preferred means of improving organizational processes in most industries and many governments. The dramatic impact improvement process achieved through the implementation of the CMMI becomes quickly obvious. The multitude of companies that have since adopted this method has led to an ever greater interest within many other industries. The CMMI, as it has evolved over the years, provides a single source blueprint that guides the institutionalization of the complex performance changes which are required to achieve the goals of consistency and high quality. The CMMI approach provides the what to do, but not the how to do it. And although the CMMI has been implemented in a multitude of organizations in over 80 diverse countries, it is still not considered the best choice for organizations that are resource constrained and possibly face significant challenges regarding language and cultural issues. Process improvement strategies, although necessary by today's standards, can be a costly and potentially risky proposition for a small business organization. Visible evidence of some form of deployed process improvement methodology is now an important element in the strategic planning of most corporations. In an era of the shift from conspicuous consumption to a more ecocentric, globally integrated, and sustainable approach to businesses, a common language of process control is essential to the competencies of those who wish to succeed in this new world economy. Both large and small organizations potentially face endless hours of dealing with process improvement projects which can lead to a significant loss of time and money if not carefully funded and managed. It, however, remains a core focus in many small organizations seeking to work in partnership with large contractors or companies that a company's main competitive advantage can be its ability to work within the parameters of the global standards, as noted by the International Trade Division of the Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean. Large companies subcontracting or partnering with companies classified within the small business organization category can jeopardize the larger company's competitive advantage if they lack a process improvement certification which can be validated independently by a certified appraiser. Due to the lack of economies of scale in a small setting environment, the potential downside risk associated with the introduction of a continuous improvement program implementation can be profound. Although large corporations face some challenges when undergoing a process improvement uh, certification or appraisal, they do not have the same challenges and limitations as organizations in the small settings category, per research I conducted with uh, Dr. Rachna Kumar. As a case in point, I have also recently completed a mentoring project with one very small organization consisting of only 11 employees, which undertook an improvement project and was seeking to be assessed at a level two of the CMMI model. The motivation for this company to go through this process was that with a level two CMMI designation, they would qualify to subcontract with larger corporations on several lucrative Department of Defense projects. The author observed the improvement process in CMMI assessment for this company 
as a longitudinal study over the period of two years during that study. Servo project and process related investments were required and an investment exceeding over $200,000 in U.S. was made. Process improvement programs are of a great value to a small operation and can be implemented without jeopardizing their financial situation or their competitive advantage. The processes an organization goes through in order to adopt one of the disciplined approaches to process improvement requires a professional state of readiness and organizational commitment which is both costly and requires a large time commitment. As reported by Wilkie, the challenges are far greater for small businesses not only because of their limited resources but also for the lack of experience understanding and capability regarding the efficient introduction of the internationally accepted process improvement programs like TQM, CMMI, or ISO 9000-2000. Small business organizations in Latin America or small units within large organizations are generally referred to as a small business if they have fewer than 100 people. A small organization, if it is within a larger organization with fewer than 50 people, or a project if there are fewer than 20 people involved. The differences in infrastructure are also considerable, but there are some similarities in how the businesses operate. For example, the process improvement initiatives, as previously discussed, are limited by the budget, time, and organizational resources that a company is willing to commit. In the United States, these resources are considered a requisite investment in the company's ability to increase their competitive advantage by producing quality services and gaining the recognition as a world-class operation. The majority of business entities in the United States, Latin America, and many developing nations are considered to be of the small setting size. The decision making and strategic planning of a small business is quite different when compared to large companies. There is an urgent need for the small organizations to gain the advantages of having a certifiable improvement program. According to Kumar and Kelly, there is, however, a downside risk that the successful completion of one of the major process improvement programs might not yield any significant results for a period of one to three years. According to Akaba, a more economical and time efficient system which can be more easily implemented into small business settings is of great interest to business and governmental leaders throughout Latin America and could hold the key to providing a more reasonable approach to gaining certification in a small business environment. Mexico is leading the way in gaining process improvement certifications for their small businesses, organizations, and very, very well may be gaining an international stature due to its adoption of a process improvement model called MorePROSOFT. MorePROSOFT, which stands for Medelo de Proceso para la Industria del Software, is based on many of the best practices embedded in the SW software CMM and ISO 9000, 2000, and several other process models. Since the more ProSoft method is built around the known best practices of other models, there are several similarities to the CMMI. However, these unique set of process structures differ from the CMMI in several areas. For instance, Wolfrofosoft actually creates a set of specific sub-processes that allow small settings to accelerate 
their process improvement initiatives in a series of smaller and less expensive increments. Though the model is relatively new, it is proving to be very efficient, as reported again by Okadawa. The model is easy to apply and does not disturb the productivity or the regularly scheduled business activities of the organization. This indeed is the Microsoft advantage. It is the author's opinion that Microsoft solution can expedite the diffusion of the process improvement methods which provides the competencies required to implement the mandate for change with demonstrable results. Finally, but not least, is the pioneering work being done for over 20 years by the ITC organization and its academic and certification entity, San Diego Global Knowledge University at www.sdgku.com in promoting and certifying key global competencies such as distance activity coordination, instruction, and consulting, international managerial leadership organizational synchronization, and English language proficiency as work skills, among others. I invite you to visit their website and take their challenge to develop professional knowledge workers and become world-class in all your endeavors. They offer all their programs in English and Spanish and a few in Mandarin Chinese with a unique video-based and competency-building online curriculum that can be accessed from anywhere in the world. Thank you for your time and attention regarding these crucial issues of global importance. I invite you all to promote global competencies and standards for human capital development and systems improvement at all levels in your organizations and communities. International certification efforts will increasingly be your most productive investment.